what disturbs you the most coming to Atlanta then and knowing you can just kick it in Atlanta and just the vibe of it, right? Yeah. And fast forwarding and the vibe being a little different now, right? Like what disturbs you the most about this city and our culture and just everything and just the energy and the vibe currently? Now? Yeah. I mean, these niggas ain't hustlers no more. They're thieves. Mm. They scammers. They standing on <laughs> like shit that ain't cold. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. I don't. I denounce all street shit I ever was invo- involved with. And I've been locked up. I've been a part of case. Like, I haven't been a, in, involved in it at all. But we glorifying to the point of destruction. Mm. And that's what the most disturbing thing about Atlanta is for me, because this still is the, the blackest, most beautiful city in the world for opportunity. I mean, L.A. and New York used to be the big city of dreams. Atlanta is that. Mm-hmm. And we don't even slow down. And the real problem is, is people accepting the bullshit from us. Mm-hmm. That's the real. I wish I had my motherfucking burn, 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 burn. But like, <laughs> you motherfucking, man, because it's horrible the way people represent themselves, let alone our city. Unbelievable. You become millionaires, you know better, you do better. You don't stand on the bullshit. The bullshit has gotten everybody where they at right now. Facts. Oh, it's too low. My bad. I'm trying to find the horn. <laughs> Go ahead. But not what you said is facts. So, facts. so speaking of the current state of the city of Atlanta, um, recently you were on Earn Your Leisure, mm-hmm. and I had to... I had to go back and like re-listen to it because a lot of people were trying to give you a lot of flack because they thought that you had said that when the YSL and YFN crews Mm. were arrested that the murder rate in the city went down 35%. But it was actually, you said that one of your producers was doing a documentary on the district attorney's office and they were provided that information. But aside from that fact, how do you how do you really feel about that statement? Do you really feel like the murder rate actually went down thirty five percent, or do you think that because of these two specific individual people, or do you feel like overall it just kind of slowed down for whatever reason? Well, first of all, the mayor came out I think two weeks later and said the exact same fact. The mm-hmm. mayor. So, and he didn't mention any names. Um, the information was told to me as it was told, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like at the end of the day, you know, they, and I'm talking about the uh, Fannie Willis's office. Right. They set a precedence to what's going to be going on with these Ricos and how they coming after our, our people, mm-hmm. after our, our kids, because I'm 50 years old. Right. So I have no, no, um, like, uh, skin in the game other than to tell people the facts. Right. And I want these youngers to be terrified to be honest because they they making these mistakes based on what they think they should be doing rather than what they should be doing. So with that fact, I just repeated something that you know was told to me that eventually came out and was stamped by our mayor. Right. Mean, he didn't say names. The other piece of that was at the end of the day, you know, if and you seeing everything that's going on, I, I don't mm-hmm. even, I don't have to say nothing. Like right. you see what's going on, people getting convicted, people playing, people telling, all the shit that they not supposed to be doing. Yeah. My thing is, they coming after y'all. Every last one of y'all. Right. Don't think you not on the board. These people on the board, they in there right now, affiliation is everything. They just, they about to come out with a law that if you associated with some gangster shit, that you on the list. We already know conspiracy exists. They talking about actually gang, like if you are part of a gang, if you are put on this board that you have no rights, that they could take you to jail based on conspiracy. Y'all all all know how conspiracy work, right? Yeah. 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 They don't even, they ain't even got to have proof. Right. So how many of us know gangsters? How many of us be around gangsters? Like (laughs) it's not, it's not, but, but the thing is we got to make the shit uncool. I was talking to bank one week and we were just having a conversation. If you made something lame, Ain't nobody gonna do it no more. Not black folk. That's we right, stand yeah. on cool everything. We stand yeah. on what we yeah. know to be true. And that that's a, a sad fact when what we know to be true is death, misogyny, despair, and destruction. That's sad. In fact. And I'm not listening, man, as as a a a man, not only a you know, uh father to two young boys, married right. 24 years. I've been a mentor to all y'all on some level. And, right. a, and, a, and a person that gives back to my entire community. Don't nobody give me no money. Akon, the only motherfucker ever gave me 100,000 to say thank you. I ain't got no kick. I ain't never asked for no kickback. 
Right. It's about helping people, and I'm helping people now. Now, now, now mind you, let's let's clear let's clear that one little thing up. Okay. I had a whole lot to say about that, and that kind of got because it was to your question of where Atlanta is and what is making me upset about Atlanta. That right. was part of that conversation. Right. That wasn't no one off. Like I'm just going yeah, yeah, go yeah. at somebody, and I don't I know, it. and I and I know. Lucha, I don't know Doug like that. Yeah. Um, never been in any really, sur you know, surroundings with right. him. And nor do I wish anybody. But I want my youngest that are not affected by what's going on with YSL and YFN to understand that they are coming for you. Right. They are coming for you. This is not like you can't do nothing. I don't know what y'all thinking y'all getting away with or what y'all texting and call. They, they know. It. Nigga, have you ever spoke to the phone and the shit pop up in your Instagram? And you don't think they can understand where you at, what you doing, how to find you? Yeah. I'm terrified for the youngest because, again, people out here killing for sport. It ain't even no getting money no more. Yeah. Like, what happened to get money? Stay low. You know what I'm saying? Have some fun. Travel the world. Invest into something to make a way out. They want to kill? Killing is fun. So I, I just get into the, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying nobody killed, no, I don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying what they gonna do to these young is how y'all gonna keep being tricked into the system. It's a sad, it's, it's a no way out situation. I feel sad for my generation because we made it a trillion dollar business. Mm. Yeah. My generation made it a trillion dollar, we had a trillion, we not had no, we got multiple billionaires. Like, we gonna stop the train because you wanna kill somebody? You don't wanna get money and live and, 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 and fuck with girls or whatever your thing. You don't want to do yeah. that. You want to kill. <laughs> and all the songs is about killing. You sliding on everybody. That's why I be I be why I be bugging out how your smile be in the middle of all that fucking dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> like how can this light even exist? <laughs> no, I'm dead ass serious. Damn. That's cold. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. And that's it's deep. listen, man. And it's listen. Everybody can change. But we got to do the work. Do you think the music dictate the energy of, the, of just of the world, period? Come on, bang. You, you been, how long, you, I known you for at least 20, right? Yeah. You seen the culture change in Atlanta from the party. When I was diamond in the club, what was going on? Yeah. Hands in the air, you was meeting your girlfriend, your wife, you was having children. Nah, niggas is, I'm talking about the hookahs. Now let's just talk about them hookahs for one second. <laughs> hookahs gonna kill so I'm not dumb. They're gonna trip somebody up in the club, you're gonna bust your motherfucking head on. But no, yeah. you can't even have a good time no more. Oh my god. You can't even have a good time no more. Girls cool. getting cold marks on their thighs, looking like they've been beat up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> niggas is 42 niggas in the booth and four girls, and then the pretty girls act like niggas shooting the motherfucking ratchets, and I'm like, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean I said I love Ladies. you, black queens. Yeah. I love you, black queens. I yes. want you to be better. I just don't. I don't understand though. It's unbelievable. To it's mind blowing. Yeah. But is it just a shift in the world? Though? That's what I was. Yeah. That's what I was just, huh? Absolutely. Because the world but, but is you, fucked so up. You saying, so you saying you basically? Hookers are gonna be the death of us. Nah. <laughs> they are gonna trip you up in the club. You gonna fall and bust your head on the corner of the table. What I said is, do you think the music <laughs> is the only thing? that's got this shit how it is. No. At, okay, what do you think? You, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I think the financial state of the economy contributes to a large part of it because it goes back to basically, for lack of a better way to put it, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like, niggas feel like they gotta have this, they gotta have that, they gotta have the jewelry, they gotta have the designer clothes, they gotta have all the shit that they really don't understand is totally irrelevant to actually being really successful. They feel like they have to put on an image to get the bitches, to be cool with the other niggas, to, you know, do certain things. And the need to want to have to do that is what is fueling the scamming, what is fueling the robbing, what is fueling like all the shit that is unsavory to our community. I'm about to get your ass, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up the mic. And I love you. I love you more. But it is the music because the music has always been the soundtrack to our lifestyle, how we live. Like that's, listen, at the end of the day, if you hear all day long that bitches ain't shit, you gonna think bitches ain't shit. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up, women KB. Hold up, saying hold up, niggas hold up, ain't hold up, shit. Hold up, hold up, KB, hold up, hold up, hold up. Too Short was saying this shit too. Yeah, but that was a one-off. No, hold up, hold up, let me say this, let me say this. It just, what, what we, cause we actually seeing it too. If Imagine Instagram was out when y'all It's the majority, bank. 
Man, it, it ain't one. realms out though. No, I'm, I'm with you, but Luke social was a, me, I think it's social media. No, I mean, but it's social yeah. media, but it's also the music. If again, we brainwashed. 